Hey everybody, Steve Hansen here. I just want to do a quick video on how to clean and disinfect a home. So, you know, one of the things that's very important is that we have to make sure that when we're cleaning a home that we do go through and we make a two-pass system. So, that means that we're going to go through and we're going to do all of our routine cleaning. So we're going to use a disinfectant or, or a detergent cleaner. We're going to go through and we're going to clean surfaces. Um, and then we're going to have to come back through and make our second pass and disinfect touch surfaces. So, and that's what I mean by that, is that uh, we, ha we have to be able to do that. And, you know, in a home, you've got so many different surfaces that, that, can, be, that can be cleaned, you know, as, as far as touch points. You know, over here, i uh, got a, a bar area. And, you know, so here, uh, like I say, we'll come through and do our regular routine cleaning, but then when we're disinfecting, we want to disinfect the countertop, the faucet, you know, the handles on the cabinets, you know, the same thing here. We got a, a countertop area here of the bar, and we got uh, some chairs, uh, some bar stools there. And the same thing is true as if you have any refrigerators or microwaves that are underneath, you got touch points there. So you have to remember to go ahead and get those when you're disinfecting. So keep that in mind uh, when you're doing that, doing that uh, cleaning and disinfecting service. Now you can see we got the phone there too. That's another touch point. We got to make sure that we're cleaning and disinfecting that. Uh, as we're coming through the home, uh, again, well, you got handrails. That's another one. We got to make sure we clean and disinfect it. Now for the home offices that you have, this here is my office. The same thing's true. You know, you have to make sure that you clean the touch points. So you got your computer uh, uh, keyboard, you got the you know the the desk itself, you got the chair, the chair arms, you know any ledges, anything that a person's going to be touching is what you want to make sure that you're cleaning and disinfecting. Obviously, doorknobs again, and remember to get both sides. You know you got the both sides of the doors that you got handles on. And again, you know, as you're walking through the home, remember to get light switches. Very important, that's a touch point. So we have to clean, we have to disinfect those. When you do come into a, like a bedroom, you know, the same thing is true. We got our doorknobs when we walk in, and any other areas that we feel that a person may touch, you know, you got your nightstand over there, you got the knobs on the nightstand, you got the phone. You know, there might be areas of the, of the headboard that somebody might touch. Uh, the same thing is true for uh, a dresser. Now the dresser, you know, you want to clean and disinfect it too. Get all the get all the knobs on the drawers. Get the the, the uh, top of the dresser itself, because you know that that's where people are touching. Now in here we got a bathroom. You know, and your bathroom is pretty straightforward. You're going to come in and do your routine cleaning in here. You're, you're going to clean the, the countertops, the sinks, the faucets, you know, the cabinets, you know, your tall bars. You're going to dust the picture frames and do all that. Uh, your, your showers, the same thing. You're going to come out over and you're going to do your routine cleaning of the shower. So you're going to do the routine clean there. Then uh, on your second pass, when you come back through to disinfect, you're going to be disinfecting that entire area. So all your bathrooms, uh, you, you disinfect the entire bathroom, so you come through and do your general cleaning and then come back and uh, do all your touch points in your bathroom, which is a, a lot of areas. Like say you got your countertop, your faucet, your sink, you got your cabinet handles, you got your door handles, you got your tall bars, you know, then you got your showers and uh, your tubs that have to be done. You got your uh, uh, light switches again. So. Uh, you know all your checkpoints in a bathroom you're gonna have many of them so make sure that you 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 get all the touch points and that they're clean and disinfected so now that's the thing you know is that uh, when you come through and doing your disinfecting um, you have to remember that the 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 disinfectant that you're possibly using has a dwell time of five to ten minutes. So that means that the surface has to stay damp for that long in order to be uh, effectively kill uh, the viruses and stuff. 
And you know, that's the whole reason between your two pass system is that in order to make your disinfecting more effective, is that you're going to come through and do that routine clean, then you're going to come through and disinfect. So you're removing those soils before you disinfect. You know, it's very important. Now you may come across some disinfectants that are claimed to be cleaner disinfectants. Um, you know, in this situation for the coronavirus, I wouldn't use that. I would actually clean with a detergent cleaner uh, and then come back and uh, do all my disinfecting. Now, as far as, as, far as disinfectants, um, you know, that goes on, you know, there, there's so many of them out there, but the thing that, that I think you want to think about is think about a disinfectant that's going to obviously kill the viruses that, that uh, we're trying to fight. And uh, there's many of them out there, so uh, you may have an alum, uh, uh, a quaternary disinfectant or alum, uh, aluminum, uh, quaten, uh, yeah, aluminum, aluminum, I think. Uh, but um, uh, in either case, you know, either one of those is fine. Um, and what you want to really think about is you got, you got to think about the dwell time, you know, if it's five or ten minutes, and then uh, also the dilution ratio. Because the dilution ratio really has a lot to do with it. Um, you know, some cleaners out there are using uh, ready to use product, which can be very expensive when you're paying $45 for a gallon of disinfectant and that's it's ready to use, that's all you get. Uh, that's not a very good uh, bargain if you ask me. So, you know, uh, I actually, uh, I'm going to attach a video to this uh, of a disinfectant that, uh, that I think you'll see is a, probably a, a pretty good disinfectant to use. So with all the talk of, the di of disinfectants, uh, you know, people are asking, you know, what type to use and so on and so forth. And, well, this here product is a uh, Spartan product. It's a Super HDQ neutral. It's a neutral disinfectant. And it kills a variety of viruses and you know it's great for hospitals, nursing homes, and other institutional applications. So so far it's checking all the boxes. And one of the things too is that when you look at the dilution ratio, it's a half ounce per gallon, meaning that one gallon of, of, of product is gonna make you 256 gallons of ready-to-use solution, which is very important because we always wanna keep our cost for our chemicals down. Uh, so that's fantastic. Uh, the pH is a 7.2 uh, to 8.2, so it should be safe for a majority of uh, surfaces, but always check, you know, choice test. Uh, and that's the nice thing about it. Now, when you look at the SDS sheet um, on the hazard identifications, well, the thing that, you know, that you can see here and uh, down in this area, uh, it says to use uh, use only outdoors and well ventilated area. Um, you know, and then uh, wear protective protect, protective gloves, uh, eyewear, face protection, wear protective clothing. You know, contaminated work clothing should be uh, should be not should not be allowed uh, out of the workplace. So you know that's the thing is that you you want to have a uh, full gown, uh, face mask, uh, face shield, gloves. You know, when you're working with this because you are going to be spraying it from a spray bottle or you're going to be missing it from a sprayer or a fogger. Um, so, you know, that's something to consider. So always make sure that you've got full PPE on when you're using this product. So, you know, that's not, not a big deal. We should be doing that anyway. So as I say, uh, you know, I think that uh, this here would be a, a, a good product for our cleaning and disinfecting just because of the dilution ratio and, and what it uh, takes care of. Uh, you can also see that it's got, uh, it comes in gallons, 5 gallon pails, 15 gallon, 30 and 55 and 330 gallon uh, totes. So depending on uh, the amount of product that you want to get, uh, you can order accordingly. And as, as you see on the bottom of the screen there, it says that uh, the, the product cannot be shipped to Canada. So, but anyway, uh, hopefully you find this helpful. And, uh, you know, it could be a good selection for a disinfectant for when you're out there doing your cleaning and disinfecting of uh, uh, office buildings or homes. You know, it's all about getting uh, a disinfectant that obviously does the job that you want, but also has a, uh, a good dilution ratio. You know, in that product, there is a half, uh, half, uh, half ounce per gallon. So that means that, uh, and I explained this in the video, that it's going to, produce 256 gallons of ready-to-use product. That's a lot of product. So that means that, uh, you know, that's costing you uh, very little 
for a, uh, a quart bottle, a 32 ounce bottle. And that's what we want to do is that we want to keep our, our chemical costs low. So if we're out there bidding against other people for jobs for cleaning and disinfecting homes, and they're using a product that's a ready to use product, cost them let's say $45 per gallon, and here we are, we're using a good disinfectant that's gonna do the job, uh, but yet it's only costing us pennies per quart, or you know, a, a, maybe a buck or buck and a quarter a gallon, you know, you can, you can see where the difference is. So that's what we really got to pay attention to is uh, how much is our ready to use cost for our chemicals. Because we don't want to be, we don't want to be paying the high price. And that's how we stay competitive, you know, in, in a market to where if you're going out and doing uh, cleaning and disinfecting uh, services, we want to be able to uh, be competitive. And that's one way we can, we can watch our cost uh, for supplies and add uh, to our bottom line. So, well, hopefully uh, you found this uh, video helpful. Uh, if you did, go ahead and give, uh, give us uh, a like. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you'll see that we have hundreds and hundreds of videos on how to build a successful cleaning business. So, thanks again for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.